up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you exactly what a network engineer is in case this is what you want to do with your it profession so let's get into it in the digital age the seamless flow of information across networks is vital for businesses organizations and individuals and this is where the role of a network engineer becomes indispensable network engineers they design implement manage and support the networks that enable data communication ensuring robust and efficient connectivity and in this video we're going to talk about the intricacies of what a network engineer is their responsibilities the essential skills required and the career path one can follow to become a successful network engineer all right, so first things first, what is a network engineer? So a network engineer, and they are sometimes referred to as network architects. This is a technology professional that is responsible for designing, implementing, and managing computer networks. And these networks include local area networks, wide area networks, intranets, extranets, and other communication systems. And network engineers, they play a critical role in ensuring the reliability, performance, and security of an organization's IT infrastructure. Also, network engineers, they work in very various environments, including large corporations, government agencies, educational institutions, and technology companies. And their expertise ensures that network systems function optimally, supporting the organization's operations and enabling efficient communication. Let's talk about how much money they make. So the average annual salary for a network engineer in the U.S., this ranges from approximately $104,000 to $115,000 per year, depending on the data source. So for instance, Indeed reports an average annual salary of $104,000, while Talent.com cites $115,000, and ZipRecruiter estimates an average of $109,000 per year. Also, entry-level network engineers, they typically earn between $62,000 and $91,000 a year, whereas senior-level professionals, they can command salaries that range from $120,000 to over $150,000, which are influenced by experience, certifications, and location. And then geographically, areas like California, Washington, Virginia, and Maryland, they offer some of the highest average salaries, which often exceed $130,000 per year. But overall, network engineering, this remains a well-compensated field with significant opportunities for salary growth that is based on experience, specialization, and geographic location. All right, so let's talk about some of the key responsibilities of a network engineer. So the responsibilities of a network engineer, they can vary depending on the organization and the complexity of its network infrastructure. However, some core responsibilities are common across the profession. The first is network design and planning. So network engineers, they work closely with stakeholders to understand their networking needs. And this involves analyzing business requirements, considering factors such as bandwidth, scalability, and security. Also, they design the overall architecture of the network, selecting appropriate hardware and software components. And this includes routers, switches, firewalls, and network management tools. And then they create detailed network designs and documentation to ensure clear communication of the network design and configuration. Another responsibility is network implementation. So network engineers, they are responsible for installing and configuring network hardware and software. And this includes setting up routers, switches, firewalls, and other network devices. They also conduct thorough testing to ensure that the network is functioning as intended. And this involves performance testing, security testing, and validating network protocols. Then there's network management and maintenance. So using network monitoring tools to continuously monitor the performance and health of the network. This is another key responsibility because this helps in identifying and resolving issues proactively. Also, they diagnose and resolve network problems such as connectivity issues, performance bottlenecks, and security breaches. And they keep the network infrastructure up to date by applying software patches, firmware updates, and hardware upgrades. Then there's network security. So they design and implement network security measures to protect against threats and vulnerabilities. And this includes configuring firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems and VPNs. And they continuously monitor the network for security threats and respond to incidents promptly to mitigate the risks. And then we have collaboration and support. So they collaborate with other IT professionals such as system admins, database admins and cybersecurity experts to ensure cohesive IT operations. And they provide technical support to end users and resolve network related issues that are reported by employees or customers. 
All right, so let's move on and talk about some of the essential skills for a network engineer. So to excel in the role of a network engineer, one must possess a combination of technical and soft skills. And here are some of the essential skills that are required. So when it comes to the technical skills, you need to have a solid understanding of networking concepts, such as IP addressing, subnetting, routing, and switching. You need to have a proficiency in network protocols, including TCP, IP, DNS, DHCP, HTTP, and FTP. You also need to have a knowledge of networking devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, load balancers, and wireless access points. You also need to have an understanding of network security principles and practices, including firewalls, VPNs, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and encryption. You need to have a familiarity with network monitoring and management tools, such as Wireshark, SolarWinds, and Cisco Prime. And you also need to have a proficiency in operating systems that are commonly used in networking, like Windows, Linux, and Unix. Then there's the soft skills. So you need to have strong analytical and problem solving skills to diagnose and resolve network issues effectively. You need to have excellent verbal and written communication skills to interact with stakeholders. You need to be able to document network configurations and provide support. You need to have meticulous attention to detail to ensure accurate network configurations and documentation. You need to have the ability to work with other IT professionals and contribute to a team oriented environment. And then you need to be flexible to adapt to changing technology technologies, industry trends, and organizational requirements. All right, so let's move on and talk about the education and certification path. So becoming a network engineer, this typically involves a combination of formal education, certifications, and hands-on experience. So here's a typical path to pursue a career as a network engineer. So when it comes to education, most network engineers, they tend to hold a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, network engineering, or some other related field. And these often provide a strong foundation in networking principles, computer systems, and you also need to know something about programming. And then you can also choose to get an advanced degree. So some professionals, they do have advanced degrees like a master's in network engineering or cybersecurity. And this allows them to enhance their knowledge and career prospects. And then there's certification. So you can go get you a CCNA, which stands for the Cisco Certified Network Associate. And this is a widely recognized entry-level certification that validates fundamental networking skills. It covers topics such as network access, IP connectivity, and security fundamentals. You can go get your CCNP or the Cisco Certified Network Professional. And this is an advanced certification that demonstrates expertise in designing and managing complex networks. It includes specializations in areas such as enterprise networks, Networking, security, and service provider networks. There's the CompTIA Network Plus, and this is a vendor neutral certification that covers essential networking concepts and practices. And this is an excellent starting point for those that are new to networking. You have the CISSP, or the Certified Information System Security Professional. And this is for network engineers that are focusing on security. And the CISSP certification provides in depth knowledge of security principles, practices, and technologies. And then you have various other certifications like the Juniper Network Certified Associate, you have the VMware Certified Professional, and the Microsoft Certified Azure Network Engineer Associate, and all of those can enhance a network engineer's credentials. Then there's also a hands-on experience, which is probably the most important. So you can gain hands-on experience through internships, co-op programs, or other entry-level positions. And all of this is crucial for building practical skills and industry knowledge. There's lab environments, so you can set up an experiment with labs using tools like Cisco Packet Tracer or GNS3 because they can provide valuable hands-on practice in configuring and troubleshooting networks. And then there's continuous learning. So networking technologies and practices, they evolve rapidly. So network engineers, they must stay updated with the latest trends, tools, and best practices through continuous learning and professional development. All right, so let's talk about some career path and opportunities that might be available for you. So a career as a network engineer, this offers various opportunities for growth and specialization. So here are some potential career paths and roles for network engineers. There's the network administrator. So a network admin, they manage day-to-day -day network operations, including monitoring performance, troubleshooting issues, and maintaining network security. And also network admins, they need to have strong technical skills in networking, as well as organizational and problem solving abilities. You have network architects and they design and plan complex network infrastructures, ensuring scalability, performance, and security. They work on large scale projects and make strategic decisions about network technologies, require deep technical expertise, strategic thinking, and project management skills. 
You have network security engineers, and they focus on protecting network systems from security threats, and they implement security measures, monitor for vulnerabilities, and respond to security incidents. And this role requires specialized knowledge of network security technologies, risk assessment, and incident response. You have cloud network engineers, and they design and manage network infrastructure within cloud environments, and they work with cloud service providers to ensure seamless connectivity and performance. And cloud network engineers, they need expertise in cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, virtualization, and cloud networking. You also have VoIP engineers, so voice over IP engineers, they design and maintain voice communication systems over IP networks. They ensure high quality voice communications and integration with other network services, and they need knowledge of VoIP protocols, network QoS or quality of service and telecommunication systems. And then you have wireless network engineers, and they specialize in designing and managing wireless networks, ensuring coverage, performance, and security. And they work with technologies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular networks. And this role requires expertise in wireless networking technologies, radio frequency engineering, and wireless security. All right, so let's move on and talk about some of the challenges that are faced by network engineers. So network engineers, they encounter several challenges in their role, including the following. There are security threats. So network engineers, they must constantly defend against cyber threats, including malware, phishing, DDoS attacks, and unauthorized access. So staying updated with the latest security practices is essential. There's rapid technological changes. So the networking field evolves quickly with new technologies, protocols, and tools emerging quite regularly. So network engineers, they must continuously learn and adapt to stay relevant. You have complex network environments. So large organizations, they often have complex network infrastructures, including multiple sites, cloud integrations, and diverse devices. So managing and troubleshooting such environments, this can be very challenging. You have performance optimization, so ensuring optimal network performance, especially in high traffic environments. This requires continuous monitoring, tuning, and capacity planning. And then there's compliance and regulations. So network engineers, they must ensure that network configurations and practices comply with industry regulations and standards such as GDPR, HIPAA, and PCI DSS. All right, so let's talk about the future of network engineering. So the future of network engineering looks very promising with several trends that are shaping the field. The first is that of software-defined networking, and this is revolutionizing network management by decoupling the control plane from the data plane. And this approach allows for more flexible, efficient, and automated network configurations. They have what is called network function virtualization, and this involves virtualizing network services such as firewalls and load balancers balancers and running them on virtual machines or containers, and this reduces hardware dependency and enhances scalability. You have 5G and beyond, so the deployment of 5G networks is transforming connectivity with higher speeds, lower latency, and support for IoT devices. And network engineers, they will play a crucial role in building and managing the 5G infrastructure. There's artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI and ML, they are being integrated into network management tools to enhance network monitoring, predictive maintenance, and automated troubleshooting. You have cybersecurity advancements. So with the increasing frequency and sophistication of cyber threats, network engineers will need to adopt advanced security measures, including zero trust architectures and AI driven threat detection. Then there's edge computing. So the rise of edge computing, which involves processing data that is closer to the source. This will require network engineers to design and manage distributed networks that support real time data processing. So exactly how long does it take for you to become a network engineer? Well, it takes on average about two to four years to become a network engineer, depending upon your starting point and chosen path. So when it comes to the educational path, many network engineers, they can earn an associate's degree in about two years or a bachelor's degree in about four years in IT, computer science, or some other related field. Then there's the certifications. So with no degree, you can still enter the field by earning certs like CompTIA Network Plus, the CCNA, the Juniper, J and CIA, and all of that can take you about six months to a year per certification with study and hands on practice. And then there's work experience. So, entry level IT roles such as IT support or help desk technician, both of those can help build experience. And this usually takes about one to two years in those roles before we're moving into a junior network engineer position. But overall, 
combining education, certifications, and practical experience, most people will become network engineers in about two to four years. So in conclusion, the network engineers, they are the backbone of modern communication systems, ensuring reliable, efficient, and secure connectivity. Their role encompasses designing, implementing, managing, and securing network infrastructures across various environments with a combination of technical skills, certifications, and hands-on experience. Aspiring network engineers, they can build a successful career in this dynamic and evolving field. And as technology continues to advance, network engineers, they will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of connectivity from cloud and 5G networks to AI-driven network management and cybersecurity innovations. So by staying updated with the latest trends and continuously honing their skills, network engineers, they can thrive in an increasingly connected world.